Man, that's kind of bright. Bam. Good morning, folks. It's been a, well, it's been a short day since the last video. And that last video that I'm pretty sure you guys saw had the e-frog in it right there. That's a three pound fishing uh, plastic. That thing was so hot. So I didn't have enough in my boat. So I got some for today, this morning, bright and early. We're going to scope some fish and um, we're going to see if it's as hot as it was yesterday afternoon in that muddy water. And I'm excited about the muddy water because we don't typically have it here on my lake. So we're going all the way in the back and we're going to check it out. But before that I do that, let me go over my electronics. I wanted to show you exactly what I'm fishing with. A lot of new subscribers here, and I want people to know exactly what I've got in regards to live scope. So here we go. So this is a uh, 8616. And I've got this from PTG in Grenada. It is sitting on a cornfield crappie gear stand that extends all the way up to 30 inches, which sits on a bridge. This is very important for stability. Cornfield crappie fishing gear is what it's called now. You need to check them out. I also have a Hummingbird 8. That's for my waypoints. But obviously the focus is here. I love the 8616. I think it's fantastic. Now, I'm not a big fan of this new update that they came out with, but I'm just like anybody else is waiting for that LVS. 34 is that what it's called lvs 32 33 34 plus something like that whatever i'm on the list when that thing comes out yes i'm getting the new transducer i'm getting it immediately uh no hesitation with that said i will be selling my current lvs 32 i have an extra one in my boat that doesn't get used ever i will sell that to somebody if somebody wants to inquire they can they can send me an email at three pound fishing at gmail.com gonna get rid of one of them keep the other one as my current until the new one comes out so let's go fish we're gonna scope with the Ozark rod we are gonna stick with 10 footers even though I think 13 would probably even be a better choice but we're gonna use the old sweet 10 footer which of course is my my heart I love the 10 footer so let's do this all right folks you're in for a treat this is a great episode with active captain the whole nine yards showing some fantastic baits do me a favor and subscribe to three pound fishing and uh, you'll be notified of all the new episodes that come out. Again, we try to do about two a week, so we're putting it out there. Just do us a favor, subscribe. Folks, a lot of fish go on the boat in this episode. Just a fantastic winter day. That's our first Scoped fish, first guest on three pound fish of this fine morning, and the old e frog is crushing it. First drop. Good solid eating fish. I think these fish are moving. Fish are definitely moving. All right, so that's the target right there. And uh, having a 16 inch screen, and again, PTG, you got to check those guys out. Ron up church, Brandon up church, Patsy, great family. Uh, they will take care of you but the 16 inch really gives you uh, the ability to fish deep 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 and get that clarity that you need so there's the fish right there i usually i love getting them within this range right here you know if they let you that's great i uh, just got pushed by the wind a little bit here i am coming in and there it is right there and he should react to that there he is he just turned He did not turn. Okay, one more drop right here, folks. Right here. This is prime. There he is. Now he's reacting to it. There it is. And that is a good fish. Oh, yeah. Solid fish here. Solid fish. Isn't that cool? So, there he is. We really need to find monster marks. So, all look at my this picture here. I go all the way out to like 75 right there. And I am just scoping around and what will pop. Now you see that bright one right there at 42, 43? I like that one. It's really giving me a great return. So I'll start to scroll in and I'm gonna go slow to it. These fish are not spooky right now. 
there he is right there so now he's at now he's at 22 and I'm just and that's a good mark so again a, a lot of people would cast to that now and I think that's a great play I'm just today is the day I'm just dropping on that is a big fish and there's multiple obviously right there but here I am dropping in I'm targeting that top one and it's not my best drop but we're just gonna go with it all right so they've gotten really close in now and another drop right here and they're moving to my right so I'm adjusting and that's the hardest thing probably to teach people is that it's a constant ju an adjustment. You don't let the drop happen unless it's perfect. Um, unless you just want to go with it, like I said earlier, but kind of, there it is. Now it's money spot. And he took it. There it is. And that, we got the fish we targeted. Great fish, best fish of the day. Great fish, best fish of the day. And look at that, we still got great marks out there. That is a picture fish right there. All right, so I'm gonna sit out here. We're gonna, we're gonna tie on a new jig. I wanna show you guys what I've got going on here so that you can do the same thing. Now these fish are roughly around eight to 10 foot down. So having a, another weight on there is, is a good idea. It gets it down there quicker. It makes it easier for you to locate on your live sonar. Um, there's a lot of things for you, which is really awesome. So I use a number, primarily a number five split shot, um, but then that is what I'm using today. But sometimes I'll go up to a number seven if I'm casting and I think the fish are shallow. Now this is a loop knot. I put it through the three pound fishing jig head right there. I, uh, right to the jig head, I twirl it around and I put it right back through the loop, right as you see, uh, there it is, uh, we got it through. And that is the perfect loop knot. Now, I do tie my sniping braid straight to the jig head. I do use a standard loop knot, nothing special. That's it, and that is your 10 pound sniping braid, which I absolutely freaking love. We've got the 10 foot Ozark rod. We've got the new E-Frog, which is probably the hottest bait I've got right now, it seems like. If I put this bad boy in front of their face, and I think it's that, that yellow bottom, it just pops, and then you've got this green flake. So I talk a lot about it right now, just because last, this episode and last episode, because my gosh, it's just on fire. I mean, I drop it and bam, what can I say? There's our first good fish right there. That's a good fish. Check that out. I'll tell you what, it's interesting. They are short striking the heck out of it. Let me go. What I did was I took half that body and uh, it seems to have done the trick. I also opened up my hook. I think my hook was just a little closed. But caught the first one after doing that, so that might be the, might be the secret sauce. Just got my camera on. Oh yeah, another great fish. All right, we're starting to pick up the size that we need. That's a good fish right there. That's a solid fish. And uh, it's interesting, these fish are definitely on the move. Water temperature is sitting around 43 degrees, so we're not talking, you know, like it was a big shift in temperature. Um, it's like they know the time of year. They need to move back to their spawning area. <laughs> Who knows? Guide trips, by the way, are going fantastic. Loaded up in the month of March and have started really filling up April to May. So definitely have some availability in May. Um, if you're interested in a guide trip, uh, give me a holler. I have decided that I'm going to be doing the Crappie Masters national events and some Crappie USA events, and that's it. That's been the decision. So that's opened up a lot of the um, time for guiding. I was going to stay away from the local events just so that I could do more guiding. 
which I think is the right choice. Plus, I want to do the Crappie USA. This will be the first year ever I've done the Crappie USA uh, trail. And the reason why is the uh, championship is on Kentucky Lake, and we've had some success on Kentucky Lake. So we'd like to go back there and fish again. Oh, this could be a good fish. Boy, I targeted him from 50 feet out. He's a nice fish. He's not quite as big as I would like, but boy, he looked marked really well. And that's a lot of fun. Bam, that is a solid fish. Be free, be free. We just be letting them fish go left and right. Good fish. All right. So that guy was riding pretty high up on the water column. <laughs> Folks, that's going to end it. What a great experience. That fish was just two feet underneath the water here. I chose to use the Cajun Crazy just because my other bait got worn out. I caught so many fish. I actually turned off the camera. I was catching so many fish. Uh, I figured that would get boring. But either way, that's Cajun, uh, that's Cajun Crazy with a pink head. And that sucker just <laughs> scooped one up. It was two feet underneath the water, two, three feet underneath the water. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.